Hello, in this video we're going to do a permutations problem and we're going to do it without using any formulas. So the question is, how many different permutations are there of the letters in the word book? And you notice two of the letters are identical. So there is a formula you can use for this problem, but I thought it would be perhaps instructive and enlightening to do this problem just raw, right? Just totally raw, no, no formula at all. Let's go ahead and work through it, solution. So for a moment, let's pretend that the O's are distinct. So let's say we label, label them. So if the O's are distinct, say we call them O sub one and O sub two. Then in this case, there are well, we have four distinct letters in this case, right? B, O sub one, O sub two, and K. So then there are four times three times two times one, or four factorial, or 24 permutations. And that's something that um, is pretty simple. Basically, if you have four letters, there's four ways to choose this first letter. You've already chosen a letter, so there's three letters left. So three ways to choose the second letter. Um, you've already chosen two letters, so there's two letters left, so two ways to choose the third letter. And you've already chosen all the letters except one, so there's one letter left. So there's only one way to choose that last letter. And the product, by the multiplication rule, would be four times three times two times one, which is a special number which we denote by four factorial, which happens to be 24. So that's the number of ways to arrange four distinct objects, uh, is 24, or four factorial. Uh, an arrangement, by the way, is called a permutation. So we have 24 different arrangements where the order matters of distinct objects, uh, and that's called a permutation. Okay, so now just for a moment consider, consider, say, a, two particular permutations, say O1, O sub 2, BK, and also consider uh, this one here, O sub 2, O sub 1, BK. Okay, these are considered distinct and under our pretend status, right, because again, uh, the O's are actually the same, but if we pretend they're different, these would be considered two different uh, permutations. So if we drop, so if we drop the subscripts, these become, well, what, well, what will it become? It'll become OOBK and OOBK which are the same. Right, so basically we have extra permutations, right? Because in reality, um, we don't really have O1 and O2, right? These are actually the same permutation because O is O, right? It's not really O1 or O2. So thus, each pair of permutations with subscripts yields but one without subscripts, right? Because every time you have a pair like this, you're just gonna get one permutation, right? So this, this pair is gonna give you just one. So that basically means we're gonna take our answer and divide it by two because each pair gives us actually one. So we're basically losing half of our permutations. So there's actually 24 over two equals 12 permutations. And again, that's because each pair of permutations we have is really only one permutation because, because as you can see here, right? So and if we had another example, say we had B O one O two K B O two O one K. Again, this is going to yield the same permutation. So again, we're basically taking our twenty-four permutations and cutting them in half. So just a nice way to do a problem where there is a formula um, that you can do without the formula. The formula, by the way, let me just show you. It's n factorial over. Okay, and then it's n sub one factorial times n sub two factorial times dot 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 times n sub k factorial. And in this formula, we have uh, n objects and n is equal to the sum. And we have n one, n sub one objects of the first kind, n sub two objects of the second kind, and n sub k objects of the kth kind. These are all distinct, but these are identical. So we have n one identical objects and two identical objects. So in our particular case, if we use this formula, um, it would be four factorial, right? Four factorial. And let's think about uh, what the other ends are. So um, for the O's, well, for the B, we can call the B, right? Because it's book, the word is book. 
So for the B, there's one B, there's two O's, and there is one K. So it would be, if you add these up, you get four factorial, right? So N is equal to one plus two plus one, which is four. That gives us the four factorial. And then it would be one factorial times two factorial times one factorial, which is four factorial over two factorial, which is 24 over two, which is 12, which is how most normal human beings do it because it's a lot easier. No one's really gonna go through a solution um, like I did because it's just way more work. But I wanted to make a video where I show you that just so you see how everything works. So yeah, hopefully this has been helpful to you and you've enjoyed this video and you've learned some mathematics. Until next time, good luck and take care.